Welcome back to our brand new segment, Sean's Stance. Currently recorded live on Instagram. You can join us, add in your questions and comments. Here, you want to subscribe, like, comment, turn on your notifications so you know when these videos go live and you can listen to them every day during your cardio, whenever you got a free moment and get some education, real time education, current education on our sport. Welcome back you guys to our daily live feed. I'm putting up a link for Cuties Conquering the Stage tickets. Um, our ticker has not been updated. We have four tickets left. Four. Four Cuties Conquering the Stage tickets left total. And if you'd like to come work with me, suitsimposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing. We do all the fun stuff when it comes to competing for women. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. It's been an interesting couple of days with all of this uh, Arnold talk. So there's that. After our live feed on Monday, uh, I did go and I watched the live stream from the Arnold. And I kind of gave my thoughts a little bit of my stories and stuff like that. Uh, it was, I guess the best word that I can use when it comes to the actual live stream commentary is that it was disappointing. Um, you know, I, I mentioned this before, I don't necessarily fault uh, Dennis and Cedric for this because this is not their forte. Obviously they're bodybuilders, that's what they do. You know, I would probably be asking the same questions if I was sitting there and talking about the open men. You know, I know enough about the open men to have a, you know, educated discussion, probably more than most women do, but I still don't know it like they know it because it's their division. You know what I mean? So I would be asking them for their expert opinions. That's what I'd be doing. Um, you know, I saw a couple of people say that they thought that, you know, what the guys were saying were disrespectful. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't think they were being disrespectful. I just think they didn't know what else to say. <laughs> I just think they didn't know what else to talk about. Um, I think they just didn't know the division. And that's why you need somebody who is an expert in the division and is up on the current standards and the current um, criteria and have followed the competitors and know what their competitive history is more than just reading off of a sheet. Um, you know, there were so many flub ups and mistakes when it comes to actually saying girls' names and their records and when they competed and what they had won. Uh, there was just a lot of mistakes. Um, and there was a lot of misinformation when it comes to the actual criteria for current bikini standards. What was being spoken about was true of bikini six, seven years ago. It is not true today. Bikini is so much more than that. Um, and I really feel like if I could have any kind of impact upon live streams going forward for these big shows, they need to have somebody in that seat that understands this division. Somebody. I mean, I, I've told you guys, you know, I would be more than happy to do it, but they need to have somebody in that seat that follows the current trends of this division. Um, because it, to me, it was, it was just disappointing. Um, it's disappointing to hear that they broke everything down to who looked the prettiest. You know, like, it's so much more than that. And when you listen to them talk about the open men, like, they break it down. Like, they break down what the judges are actually, you know, what the judges are actually um, judging, you know, who's in first, who's in second, who's getting this point for that, for that thing or whatever. You know what I mean? They really break it down for the men. And I want to hear that for the women. I want to hear that for the women. I mean, frankly, bikini is the number one division in our entire sport. These ladies deserve some real respect, some real commentary, some real gritty stuff, you know, like, yeah, you got to have some fluffiness in there. I get that because there are people that have not watched this ever before and they don't really know what they're looking at. But the more that you can get into it and kind of describe it with the right vocabulary and the right um, adjectives, the more people get it and understand that it's more than just pretty bodies on a stage. It's so much more than pretty hair and makeup and suits. And while I do all those things, I love those things. I think those are those things are important. I could put somebody in my hair, makeup and suit and posing and if they have a crappy physique, they're not going to win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you need to be able to, to, to understand what the judges are looking at. This isn't a mystery. This sport is not a mystery. You just need to understand the criteria. 
just need to understand the criteria and what's being rewarded, right? Um, missed a couple comments here. You'd be an amazing asset to, the, to their team. Thank you. Um, you'd be so much, bring so much insight and flavor. <laughs> flavor, yes. I would bring flavor to the commentary. Um, and, you know, and that's the thing. I'm like, regardless of, of, of what they decide to do for the Olympia and things like that, you guys know you can come here and I will give you the breakdown. I will give you the ins and outs and ups and downs and why people place where they placed and what was being looked at and all those kinds of things. That's what I'm good at. So you're gonna get it from me one way or another, <laughs> you know? So LOL flavor, true, yes. <laughs> so with that too, I wanted to put this out there as well. You know, I did put out um, the, the brutal honest truth. Yeah, the honest truth. I mean, that's what people need to hear in order to get better. You know, I always tell people I try to give the truth with a spoonful of sugar um, because if you're not being told the truth, if you're not giving good, being given good critiques, you can't get better. That's the bottom line. You can't get better if people aren't telling you what you're doing wrong. That's it. They should have been given at least the criteria for each division to help them. Yeah, I'm sure that they were. I'm sure they were given that. But if you don't really follow it, you don't really follow the sport, it's really hard to comment in detail on these physiques. It's really difficult to do. You know, I talk to people all the time about this stuff in our industry that don't follow it the way I do, that are wrong. <laughs> I tell them all the time, no, you're wrong. No, uh-uh, you're wrong. <laughs> Exactly, a lot of sugar cutting, right. And you know, there, there needs to be a little bit of that. Like, you don't want to just go out there and blast somebody and say that they're terrible. You know, that's not what you want to do either. But you need to give good crit critiques, good constructive criticism so that the person that's watching can understand what's actually being judged. Because there is very specific criteria. There's very specific criteria. And the way that this was judged at the Arnold, the criteria was held to a T. It was perfectly adhered to through the judging but most people don't know that because it wasn't talked about and that's unfortunate that's the unfortunate part they should have watched your youtube to prep for this right <laughs> right i always think commentary should be a time for the audience to learn about the divisions like when i watch figures skating the commentary is so detailed and i learn a lot a lot about the sport absolutely talking about the tricks that they're doing and you know all that stuff absolutely 100 percent. that's what it should be about it should be enough to teach you a little bit about the division to understand what these what these people are being judged on they're not just pretty faces and pretty tans and hair in, in a bikini on a stage. That's not it. That's not all that it is. You know, when I first started in the sport, um, and before I even started competing, I was following figure. And they went into more detail with figure. And that's why I loved it. That's why I loved it. Totally off subject, but I love your lipstick. Thank you. It's one of my Cutie Beauty Cosmetics right here. I can't remember which one I put on, but it's one of mine. That's one of mine. <laughs> Um, my husband thinks Sean can be a national world level commentator. He doesn't know anything about bikini or bodybuilding. Oh, he did tell me that actually. He did tell me that. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, my husband said you pay, you pay for what you get. That's true. Um, it should be a true glimpse into the judging criteria. Absolutely. hundred percent. You and Becky would have been amazing commentators for that. Yes. I, and you know what? The funny part about that is Quick story on that. So Becky and I have known each other forever, literally forever. Um, she started competing a little bit before I did, but we both had the same coach when we first started competing. She went through the same path I did. She earned her, her pro card and figure and ended up competing in bikini when she was on the pro stage. Same thing with me. Um, she went the route of judging and I've gone the route here with my business. So um, yeah, I'm, when I talk to Becky, like we're literally like in sync with our thoughts because we've, we've legitimately grown up in the sport together. <laughs> right. So anyway, um, so yeah, at the end of the day, I was just disappointed more than anything else in the, in the commentary. I, I just was hoping, especially when you've only got two divisions, two female divisions in the whole show. And this is one of the, the premier shows of the freaking sport. You should have more in depth commentary. You should have more in depth commentary. They had it for the men. They had it for the men, why not for the women, right? So, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm still gonna do it for you here. So you can come here and watch me. And with that said, 
I did take our BSPN review from Monday and I did edit it and it is up on, on YouTube now. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so. The uh, link is in my, it's in my link tree. It's like the second or third box on there. If you click on that, that takes you to the playlist for all the BSPN um, videos. Click on that. You can watch the review with pictures and videos. Um, so it gives you a little bit more visual to see what, what I was talking about. Um, and like, comment, and subscribe too. And the reason why I say that is because I do want to start doing more of this, like going live and things like that on YouTube. But currently I don't have enough subscribers over there to make it worth me going live over there because I've just been going live over here for gosh, two and a half years, almost, almost three years at this point, right? So we are going to start taking some of the content here and editing it and putting it on our YouTube channel as well. So it's going to create a new playlist of a library of information for you guys to be able to go watch and get credible information. Because I don't think this really exists out there anywhere in YouTube land. I've looked. Uh, what I do here on Instagram it does doesn't, doesn't exist. So we're going to start repurposing all this. Um, I finally got myself some good video editing software uh, and I started playing with it yesterday. And so now that I know what I'm doing, <laughs> I'll get a little bit better at these YouTube videos. They should go a little bit faster. I was having all sorts of technology issues um, since I started doing these on YouTube. Now that won't be a problem, I hope, at this point. <laughs> now that I've got some good software. Um, but anyway, so we are going to start a whole new playlist. So you'll have to look out for that. That's going to be coming very, very soon because I'm going to take some of the information that we've done YouTube, or I'm sorry, um, IGTV videos here, and I'm going to put them over onto YouTube so that you have a library that you can go to. Okay? Um, let's see, what did I miss? He thinks you don't sleep. Instead, studying and researching to prep for next day. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's pretty much my life. <laughs> I sleep. I very. I do. I sleep like seven hours. That's good. That's good. I'd like to get a few more hours, but it doesn't happen. But you're right. I'm constantly thinking of new things. Um, that's what happens when you're passionate about stuff. That's what happens when you are excited about stuff. That's what, that's what happens when you want to be better at something. You know what I mean? I'm always trying to think of new ways to make things better, make content better, um, you know, make the education aspect of this better. I want you guys to be coming to me to be getting your education. That's it, because that's gonna make you better competitors. It's gonna be, make me better at what I do, and it's gonna make you better competitors. That's what I want, right? And that's going to do it for our first episode of Sean's Stance. Make sure you check back here. Again, if you just comment, like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, you'll know exactly when all of these videos go up. So you can put them in your playlist and have them on repeat. We'll see you back here next time.